Many inventions that change the world and that we count on every day were created by women. We have compiled a list of those inventors who took a giant leap forward and how they changed our culture and our society for the better. Here are 10 inventions you may not know were made by women. Number 10, Stephanie Qualick, Kevlar. In 1965, Stephanie Qualick invented Kevlar, an amazing superfiber that is used in over 200 applications such as protective vests, boats, airplanes, ropes, and cables. Qualick was born in 1923 in a small town in Pennsylvania. She had always had an interest in nature, sewing, and fabrics, but became more interested in chemistry and medicine than fashion. After college, she landed a job at DuPont and started doing such interesting work she put medical school on hold to pursue a life of chemistry. She was inducted to the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1994, as well as the National Women's Hall of Fame in 2003. She's won the National Medal of Technology and the Perkins Medal. Kevlar protects police, firefighters, and the military, as well as delicate undersea optical fiber cables, ropes used in suspension bridges, bicycle tires, drum heads, and so much more. Since its inception, this insanely tough fiber has saved countless lives around the world. Number 9. Josephine Cochran, the Automatic Dishwasher The dishwasher. It has become a staple of the American household. Prior to the 1950s, washing dishes could be a very grueling activity. Josephine Cochran was the inventor and patent holder of the first automatic dishwasher. In Shelbyville, Illinois in 1839, Josephine was born into a family of very smart people. Her dad was an engineer and her grandfather was an inventor himself. She, however, never had a formal science education. She and her husband were socialites and had servants do most of the housework. She was concerned that her fine china was chipping off and realized it was from harsh hand washing. Her husband suddenly passed and she was left with a considerable amount of debt. She found the drive to push forward with her idea and worked in the shed behind her house until her machine worked properly. She introduced it to friends and family, leading her to win an award at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. Many people were reluctant to buy it at first due to the fact that it took quite a bit of hot water to do the job, and people said they really enjoyed washing dishes by hand. But by the 50s, many people, mostly women, were relieved of the time-consuming chore, and the rest is history. Number 8. Marie Van Britten Brown Home Security System CCTV Marie Van Britten Brown is credited, along with her husband, Albert Brown, for laying the groundwork for what would become the basis of the two-way communication and surveillance features of modern home security. She was born in 1922 in Jamaica, Queens, New York, and worked as a nurse while her husband was an electronics technician. They worked odd hours, and Marie was concerned about the rising crime in their neighborhood when she was home alone. She wanted a way to be able to see the person knocking on the door without opening it. Together, they set up three levels of cameras through the peephole in the front door in which they could communicate with the people on the other side. They also installed an alarm button. Their patent was filed on August 1, 1966 under the title Home Security System Utilizing Television Surveillance. Their application was approved on December 2, 1969. They both were featured in an article that appeared in the New York Times and won an award from the National Scientists Committee. Since then, 13 other inventors have referenced this patent in their own inventions. Number 7. Alice H. Parker, Central Heating Alice H. Parker, an African-American woman born in 1895 in Morristown, New Jersey, is credited to be the inventor of central heating, receiving a patent for the gas heating furnace in 1919. Today we rely on home heating to keep us warm, but in the 1920s this was a revolutionary idea. Her design was different from previous home heating systems. She used natural gas, which until then people used coal and wood and only used gas to heat large businesses. She also created a system of ducts that suck in cold air and circulate out warm air. Reportedly, she complained about the efficiency of her fireplace during the cold New Jersey winters. Little else is known about her life, but we do know she attended classes at the Howard University Academy in Washington, D.C. and earned a certificate with honors in 1910. Her invention for the era was a breakthrough for African-American women, predating both the Civil Rights Movement and the Women's Liberation Movement. 
Number six, Anna Connolly, The Fire Escape. Prior to 1887, fires in New York City were devastating and caused almost certain loss of life and property. Apartment and tenement buildings made of wood were becoming death traps for people. There had been crude forms of the fire escape previously available, but consisted of buckets and a pulley system that were just not effective. Anna Connolly applied for her patent for the prototype of the fire escape used today. Not much is known about her, but we do know she resided in Pennsylvania at one time. Her new system consisted of an iron rail bridge that connected adjacent rooftops of other buildings. Each end of the bridge had two trap doors, creating easy access through. Her inventions led the way for the first building codes in New York City, like the New York State Tenement House Act, which required fire safeguards like the fire escape, indoor toilets, and outward-facing windows in each room. Connolly's invention has contributed to saving and securing thousands of lives ever since. Number 5. Dr. Shirley Jackson. Various Technologies. To span the career of Dr. Shirley Jackson could fill up an entire video. Jackson was the first African-American woman to earn a doctorate from MIT. She arrived in the fall of 1964, struggled through her time there due to racial bias and prejudice, but worked through it, earning her PhD in particle physics in 1973. She has contributed to many technologies and advances in the telecommunications that we rely on today. Her achievements have spanned research, public policy, and academic leadership. She is the inventor of the technology behind the portable fax, touch-tone telephone, solar cells, fiber optic cables, and the technology behind caller ID and call waiting. She started working at Fermilab, the national lab specializing in high-energy particle physics, as well as participating in a fellowship at CERN, one of the world's largest and most respected centers for scientific research. She also served as a chair for the Clinton administration's Nuclear Regulatory Commission, developing and implementing regulation for assessing risk at the country's nuclear power plants. In 2016, President Obama awarded her the National Medal of Science. She was also inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 1998 for her contributions to science and advocacy for education, science, and public policy. Number 4. Catherine Blodgett, Invisible Glass Catherine Blodgett was born in New York in 1898, but moved with her mother to France after the murder of her father, George R. Blodgett, who was a nationally famous patent attorney for GE. They moved back to New York and she spent the next few years earning a bachelor's degree at Bryn Mawr College. After obtaining her master's in physics from the University of Chicago studying gas mask technology, she returned to GE and was hired by a colleague of her father's, Irving Langmuir. She became the first woman scientist to ever join the GE Research Lab, developing a type of thin film to go on glasses and lenses used in cinematography. She worked with films only a few molecules thick, allowing 99% of the light to pass through. She not only helped the fields of optometry, film, photography, solar and medical devices, but also to the wartime effort, as well as meteorology. She went on to become the first woman to get a PhD in physics from Cambridge University. Number three, Hedy Lamarr, Spread Spectrum Technology. Hedy Lamarr was a self-taught inventor and actress born in Austria in 1914. She never attended college but was exposed to friends of her first husband's, a wealthy Austrian munitions manufacturer. She would converse with scientists and high-ranking leaders about wartime technologies. She soon felt major constraint from her husband and made her escape to the U.S. to continue her acting career. She made a name for herself as a film star, but as World War II started, she wanted to contribute. She longed to apply her knowledge to help, but was told that she'd be better suited selling war bonds. She didn't listen. She then met George Anthile, a pianist, and together they decided to do something. They filed a shared patent for an invention that prevented signals transmitted over radio from being intercepted by the opposition. Called frequency hopping, this technology broadcasted over a single channel and messages would jump seemingly at random across many channels. Their idea was dismissed until the 1950s when Sylvania Electric Products looked deeper into it. Over time, the technology invented by Lamar has become our modern-day Wi-Fi, or spread-spectrum technology, that every cell phone uses. She wasn't, however, recognized for this achievement until 1990, quoted saying, It's about time. Number 2. Grace Hopper, 
computer software. Dubbed the first lady of software and amazing grace, Grace Hopper is most well known for helping to create the first all-electronic digital computer called the UNIVAC, Universal Automatic Computer. The UNIVAC hardware allowed NASA to communicate with the astronauts on the Apollo moon mission. She stands as a pioneer of computers and programming development from the 1940s through the 1980s. She created the first compiler, which translates source code, making coding languages more practical and accessible. Born in New York in 1906, she went on to receive a degree in math from Vassar College and a master's and a doctorate degree in mathematics and physics from Yale. She enlisted with the WAVES, or the Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Services, during World War II and then joined the Navy Reserves in 1948. She is credited with helping to create a model of an electric computer called the Mark I. She also coined the term computer bug. Grace Hopper greatly contributed to the field of computer programming and without her, the Apollo moon mission would not have been possible. Advanced guidance and navigational software for its time allowed the astronauts to land safely on the moon. Not only has she received multiple awards, but she has her own award named after her called the Grace Murray Hopper Awards, awarded to a computer professional who makes a single significant technical or service contribution at or before age 35. And number one on our list goes to ancient Mesopotamian women for the invention of beer. The process that we consider today as beer was first made and consumed in ancient Mesopotamia in the Godin Tepe settlement now in modern day Iran between 3500 and 3100 BCE, called Sakaru or Dida to the ancient peoples. Made from bipar, twice baked barley bread, beer brewing and baking were interconnected. Some scholars believe that this process happened accidentally with grains for bread that fermented. Others argue it was intentionally made for intoxication. Historical records indicate that humans, after their immediate needs are met, food, shelter, and some form of laws, desire intoxication and mind-altering substances. Women were the original brewers, made in home during mealtime. Becoming commercialized, women would also run taverns, trading corn or labor for the brew. Egyptian women also brewed a honey-based beer called Scythum. Beer brewing was connected deeply to their religious stories and beliefs and was thought to bring joy, happiness, and a sense of well-being. There is also evidence that they created the first straws specifically to drink beer, which at that time was about the consistency of today's porridge. Women have come a long way, from ancient beer brewing, to making our lives a bit easier and a lot safer, to even making it possible for humans to travel to other planets. Through adversity and obstacles, these women strive for greatness, succeeded, and deserve to have their memory and accomplishments honored and remembered. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when we release new videos. Thanks so much for watching.